Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. What's good, fam squad? So, Lamar Presser. Your boy got time to talk about it now. So, Lamar's presser was interesting. Ah. It's a few things that I saw that I was like, hmm, interesting. So, you know, they talked about the contract. And he said some things that he didn't say. I believe it was June. He didn't say we, you know, we in conversation. We have, we having conversation. We having conversation. He, he didn't say that this time. Uh, they asked me, you know, pretty much possibility is going to get, uh, done. He said he knows there is a due time. There is a, a due date, you know, that it has to be done or, you know, that's it. But he said he believes it will be done. And shout out to uh, Gary for uh, his footage. While Lamar was talking, they show he shows Steve and John up there having conversation while Lamar is talking. And that's very interesting because we don't know what they're what we're talking about, obviously. But I wonder if John was like that, that that man right down there we looking at, Steve. He saved my job. He saved my job, Steve. And Steve reply, I know John. I was about to fire you, but but he saved you. He saved you. <laughs> You know, that had to be the conversation. But anyway, on real, I think they probably was talking about uh, giving it up. Giving up that money to pay this man. Fully guaranteed money, by the way. But giving it up. Because Lamar, and throughout that press, that press conference he had, you know, he kept saying, you know, we in conversation, we in talk, we talking about it, you know, and everything. But then he said one thing and he made this one facial expression. He said, I believe it was something like, they know my offer, they know my amount that I'm looking for. Something, something, something like that. I mean, I don't talk to those people who saying that, so they don't know what I got going on. They don't know what I'm thinking. You know, that's just he say, she say, really, but nobody know what I'm thinking except them upstairs. Are you, are you comfortable? When he said that, I was like, oh, oh, really now? And I was like, they know the amount. And I know he had to see, you know, Steve and Harves up there talking. I know he had to see that. You know, he want, he didn't make it obvious. Because Lamar's, Lamar's too smart for that. Because in June, he kept saying, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be at training camp. I don't know if I'm going to play week one. He played that game with him. Now he's playing this game with him, saying, they know. They know what I want. Now they just got to say, okay, put it on the contract. Because he don't need no, you know, he don't need no contract saying he got to watch film for four hours. He don't need no contract saying that. He already improving on everything. Hobbs already saying this is the best he's seen Lamar for his improvement for his passing because he gets better and better each year. Even Greg Roman said some stuff, but I ain't go. Mm, don't even get me started with him. But anyway, so when Lamar said that, that was that was pretty interesting. I believe it could be getting get done before the year. I said before the even the you know the year of football season starts. 
before week one. I don't know the deadline. I haven't looked it up. If someone knows the deadline, put that in the comments, please. Because that's going to be interesting. But I do believe it would be done. The amount, I believe it would be 300 mil, fully guaranteed, six years. 50 mil. That is, that's, that's what I'm looking at. Because he is the offense. He is the scheme. He is the everything for as an offense. And what are we talking about, Lamar? One thing that I, I I noticed is when Lamar told Eric DeCosta a long time ago, he said he want a better offensive line. He never said, I want, you know, this type, this wide receiver or whatever. I wonder if he fully believes like I do. In a wide receiving court. That's just a side note. But that was interesting. Lamar, you know, said they come if they know the price. So 300 mil. I can see it. I can see it. Because I believe he's going to end up being the highest paid number one quarterback. Fully guaranteed. Six years. That's that's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal. They're going to have to do some back work now. You already know that. They're going to have to do some back work, move some money around and all that stuff. But they can make it happen. Because Lamar is once in a lifetime. It's like my dude uh, Justin Houston said. Oh, so much respect. It's almost to the sense of not as bad as LeBron James, but it's getting there. Like No matter what this kid do, he, he can't do right. So I'm, I, I love the way he handled it. It's just motivation. So I, I pray that everybody keep talking about him because it, it's fire. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I need that fire for, for my selfish point of view. You know what I'm saying? But I, I love the way he handled it as a man. He's very mature for his age. And I think he's doing a good job handling Lamar gets so much disrespect. It's kind of like he's on like get so much disrespect like LeBron James. Like the man doesn't get in trouble. You find some way to hate on him. Doesn't get in trouble outside. He don't have no brother dancing all in the videos. His mama's chill. Working behind the scenes. I don't get it. Just don't get it. But anyway. So what y'all think? Week one, will he have that already signed? Or do you agree with me with the amount? Or what's y'all amount you believe in? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the share. Show your boy some support. Everybody, stay safe. God bless.